So let's take this right down. Hi, and welcome to this week's episode of Long Range Pursuits. My name is Craig Thomason, and I'm here with my friend Garrett Wall. And we're new to the Gunworks family. We've been around for about six months now. If you're gonna learn long range shooting from anybody, you might as well go to the experts. And uh, if you've been able to watch the show in the past, Mike and Aaron Davidson are the best there is out there. So we were very fortunate that we were able to, to come in and work with this great company and learn from the best. We got thrown into the mix right away. Our, our first couple trips up here were some shooting schools that they offer here and in, 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 right around the shop. And uh, with the system, it, it didn't take long to, to tip that still over out there at 950 yards away, which is a long ways away, but uh, it's possible. We learned that. Well, it's that. definitely possible. And I was l lucky enough to draw an antelope tag in Southern Wyoming. And so for this first hunt, uh, Aaron Davidson was able to tag along with us, be the man behind the camera, as well as the little uh, Jiminy Cricket on your shoulder, giving me inspirational thoughts in my whole hunt. Garrett was uh, on the rangefinder. We had a great trip. And again, for our first trip out with the system, worked flawlessly. I think that's him. We might have got lucky. It's opening day of our antelope hunt. We're out here in uh, southern Wyoming. We looked over about 40, 50 bucks yesterday, so there's plenty of antelope in the area. That's not what the hard part is. Finding the right buck, that's, that's the tough part. There's a point up here we can sneak up to before we get exposed, before we start making them nervous. Let's close in a couple hundred he's, yards up there. He seems real interested in those three does. I don't think he's going to pay attention to us if we can sneak up this little ravine. Okay, let's get up there and see what the shot does. You ready? Yeah, let's do this. Sit down. We've got this, uh, this buck. He's rutting and chasing these three does. We're about 1,200 yards from him now. We're going to throw our packs on. We're going to put the sneak on him. We're going to crawl up this ridge, peek over, and wind's starting to pick up a little bit, so we're going to make a move on it. Hopefully we can find this buck. It looks like a good one, so grab the gun, grab all our stuff. Show tad. He's still chasing those does. I think he's I think he's gonna give us a shot if we can just get him to stop. Why don't we sit up here? Read the wind, check it out, and then let's see if we can make a shot. Let's do it. Just one, huh? Just one, baby. That's all I'm gonna need. What's that wind doing? Four. Three and a half, four and a half. Still walking. We're up around 8.30. 8.30? let's hold for. What's the, what's the rangefinder telling to hold? We got 8.40, let's dial 800 right on. 800? All right. Turns back down just a hair. Now, okay. I feel good, I'm gonna take it off safety. All right. 840. Oh. oh nice oh. shot. <laughs> oh, baby. That is one dead antelope. We get him? <laughs> he put him down hard, buddy. <laughs> <laughs> He isn't going anywhere. <laughs> <laughs> nice shot. Nice shot. Wow. Okay, so it doesn't look like he's right on the road, but it's close enough. <laughs> that is awesome, Garrett. Wow. That is awesome, Garrett. 
you know, we got, we got, uh, we got through that shooting school and, uh, and Garrett and I were thinking, are we going to be able to pull this off really live? You know, I mean, Garrett and I are by no means experts in long range shooting, but, uh, you know, you go through that shooting school, they teach you all the ins and outs and, and you know, basically you follow the instruction and, and, uh, you know, the proof's in the pudding right here. We'll take it, won't we? We'll take it. Mike was able, Mike's passion has been muzzle loaders the last couple of, of months. So he spent a lot of time in the shop developing and working up a load for this muzzle loader. And so he was excited and anxious to get there out, out there in the field on this antelope hunt and tell us about what happened. Well, we decided to put in for a couple of antelope tags just right here, uh, right where we live. It's just south of our shop, a few miles. And um, Aaron and I were able just to take some time in, in the morning, one morning, to go out and try to chase some antelope. We ended up finding a pretty good buck. It was just a little further than Aaron thought we should be shooting, but I said, hey, let's sit down and give it a try. It was just about 700 yards. I'd been watching this antelope on my way back and forth to Utah. We got over here and uh, they're sitting out there about five, 600 yards. I don't know if we're gonna be able to get any closer. We got the muzzle loader today. We're gonna see if we can get over there and get one. This one, he's not very tall. He's probably about 14. He's got some good cutters. He's got some good mass. I kind of like that look on him. We're gonna see if we can't get set up for a shot. They might end up being about 700. 209 primer. Yeah, it looks like he's hit good. Yeah, good hit. Yeah. Oh, there he goes. He down. Well, them goats, they get out on these flats, you can't get any closer. We got this muzzle loader tuned up. He was just right at 715 yards. And uh, if you've seen that spot, just right behind the front shoulder there. Took about 20 steps, went and laid down. That's a good goat. Let's go get our hands on him. <laughs> 700 yards, muzzle loader, man. It's our new Gunworks muzzle loader. That's what we're looking at right there. Up front. Seen that double deal there? Pretty classy antelope. Hey, we ended up shooting a nice goat and uh, you know, that's, that was just a shot I was looking for to, to try that muzzle loader out. You know, we didn't have a lot of crosswind. Aaron actually doped it just right for me for once and uh, made a great shot on it. The bad thing about the whole deal is once we've got that antelope loaded in the truck, we're heading back to work and, and we see the monster. We see a giant antelope. Good prongs, a lot of length, and uh, um, I was feeling pretty bad about shooting that little one. but. Luck would have it. We got somebody back in the shop. A lot of you guys probably know her. Erin, you've probably talked to her on the phone. She does all of our shipping, fills all of our orders for us. She does a real great job. She's got a tag for this area, so it was all up to her. Yeah, I got a call from Erin out there in the field saying that they found a really nice goat and they really wanted to take him themselves but couldn't do it. So. I got pretty excited. The rest of the day it made it a little tough to work, but I got my stuff together and waited till the, that afternoon and out we went to try and find him again and see if he was in the same spot that they found him earlier.
Oh, there you go. <laughs> there you go. Put another one in just to make sure. <laughs> Boy, we had him at we had him about seven, eight hundred yards back this way behind us, and uh, he gave us a slip. Wouldn't give us a shot. We come up over on the hill, expecting him to be, you know, four or five hundred yards this way, and uh, we turn around. He pops up uh, right about. 200, 250 yards away, and uh, gave us a shot. <laughs> she made a good shot. Good job. Let's go get our hands on him. Good job, Eric. Awesome. Look at that thing. Nice. Nice white tips. Oh yeah. Oh That's yeah. It's a nice buck. Hey, good shot. Awesome. Like I said, I'm just glad you shot the buck and not the doe. For sure. <laughs> Thanks, Mike. Sweet. Hey, this is the buck we seen this morning. In fact, I shot mine about 15 minutes before we seen this one. Yeah. And this one's definitely bigger. I mean, look at those. Yeah. It's probably six inch plus cutters. Sweet. Nice, nice. Well, now I have something to brag about against all you guys. Finally bigger and better. Mm -hmm. <laughs> well, it's definitely time for the girls to redeem themselves. And lucky for me, Janet was next in line to fill her tag. Janet is our office manager at Gunworks. And if you're not talking to me or Mike or Aaron, it's usually Janet that's answering the phone. Why don't you tell us about your hunt, Jan? Well, my shot was the longest out of the whole office and I beat Craig. <laughs> hey, this week we're hunting antelope uh, just outside of Matitsi, Wyoming. It's been a couple of years. Uh, since my wife Janet drew a tag and uh, this year she did draw a tag so we've got her out here hunting the day before the end of the season so the antelope haven't been hunted for a while. Uh, we've got a few bucks spotted out here that are uh, you know still a good thousand yards off. We're going to try to climb up over this ridge make sure we don't see any bigger bucks on that far side and then uh, maybe sneak in for a little bit closer shot. Running about five to seven mile an hour wind looks like. Uh, hopefully it dies off just a little bit. Trigger finger warmed up. Yep. All right. We're gonna sneak up and see if we can get a little better look. Those don't look any bigger than the ones we have over here. Pretty small in the true box. Six more. Let's just get right up there and set that spot and scope up again. the base of that hill. I'll try to get a range on him. Okay, he's a ways out there, but he's still coming this way. Just go a little bit left of that uh, that little cut that comes down that hill. Okay, see if you can spot him. There's there's three antelope. There's two does and then one buck. Okay. You spot him? Yeah, got him. Got him. Oh, baby. Got him dropped. Good job, sweetie. Holy smokes, hike, city. This is just like last year, right? The last minute it's dark. Fist pump. Hey, 8.58. What? Held two minutes of wind. 8.58? 8.58. You needed, you needed one more minute. You hit him right in the center, about right where his diaphragm is. Dropped in solid. But we actually needed three minutes. That means about a seven and a half mile an hour wind at 858 yards. Give me another five. That was worth the hustle. 
Well, what do you think? Pretty good cutters. Think you'll make 14 and a half, maybe? He's pretty goat, pretty antelope. Yeah, he hit right where I thought, right in the middle. You're holding for that, we hold for that spot if they're broadside, right? And it was 8.50, so that's exactly one minute. So you're holding two minutes, so that's one, two. So you were holding clear out here off his nose, using the reticle. And we had uh, probably more like a seven mile an hour wind. And uh, we were holding for about a five. Five was calling for two minutes, so it, it went in. What we've usually seen with these bullets is fragments real nice. Probably tore his lungs up real good. He went down in a hurry. Good job. 858. That's 22 yards short of a half mile. How's that? I beat everybody at work. Try to beat me. <laughs> <laughs> That'll go over good, huh? <laughs> Craig's gonna be bummed. Yeah. Hey Craig, this one's for you, man. Okay, so that was a good shot. I'll give you your, your props for that. How'd you pull that shot off? Well, I was pretty nervous, and um, thank goodness Aaron didn't tell me how far away the shot was, or I probably re really would have missed. Well, he, he coached you and he coached me. Thank goodness we have Aaron there for us, isn't it? Right. <laughs> well, uh, heck of a shot. There's nobody else I'd rather give up a long shot to in the office. The longest shot goes to Janet Davidson this year. Thank you. So, uh, nice job. Nice job. Well, Aaron's going to tell us a little bit more about what's coming up for this spring, for this show season. Hope you enjoyed this episode. We look forward to seeing you at the shows. Nice job. Thanks. You, you'll notice that some of our new faces this year aren't TV hosts. That's because we're in the business of making guns. That's what our business is. Uh, we've got a lot of back office support. We've got some new guys. You notice that Craig's pretty smooth in front of the camera. He's going to be one of our new TV hosts. Our director of marketing should be good on TV. Uh, in addition to some new faces, we have some new products. Uh, we're really excited about the 2012 lineup of gear. We've got uh, a new Coyote model with a detachable mag box, carbon barrels, uh, directional muzzle brakes in the 6XC. This is an awesome caliber, great for shooting Coyotes at long range, performs very well. Uh, another one that we're pretty excited about is we've, we're pretty set on this LRM 500 configuration. This is a 500 yard muzzle loader. It's got our action, uses a 209 primer. Uh, we also set it up with our long range scope. Uh, you'll get about 500 yard performance on it. Uh, we throw a ramrod in there so it's accessible, easy to get to. Uh, we're looking for terminal velocity in that 16, 1700 yard range at 500 yards. And that's what we get. We do it with minimal recoil. You don't need a muzzle brake. It's very easy to load with a sabo. Uh, and you can see, you know, you can be pretty accurate. Mike took that antelope at an unbelievable distance. Uh, it's doable. Another product that's a little bit of a, of a step away from our, our traditional setup is our uh, long range lightweight. This is our titanium action, uh, small contour barrel, a, a new mountain hunter type stock and our two and a half to ten rifle scope. This package ends up weighing in that six and a half to six and three quarter pound range. So you still get that five, six hundred yard performance but you do it in a really small easy to carry package. Uh, our, our most exciting project uh, for the last two or three years is this new rangefinder. Uh, we're going to have these available at the shows for purchase also to kind of check it out and see how easy it is to program your true ballistics into the device. Uh, we'll show you how that one button press works. You just press the fire button. It gives you a compensated range correcting for air density and incline. This is an awesome device. We're really excited about that. Make sure you come to the trade shows. We've got shows in, in Dallas, Dallas Safari Club. We've got the, the Reno Safari Club which is actually in Vegas this year. Uh, we've got Wild Sheep Foundation, Ovis, uh, Western Conservation Expo, we're even going to go to the NRA show in St. Louis, Missouri. So check the, the local shows, see if we're there. Uh, we'd like to see you there. I'd uh, like to, you to meet some of the new faces behind Gunworks and check out some of the new products we have. Stay tuned, we've got a great year coming up for Long Range Pursuit 2012. Thanks for watching. Hunting apparel for Long Range Pursuit provided by Sitka and Kinetrek Boots of Montana. License applications made through Cabela's Tags. Brought to you by Gunworks, G7 Optics, Night Force, Hornady, and Caldwell Shooting Supplies. I see something. Wait, I see something. Oh, it's a big goofy thing. Oh, it's a non-typical. Looks stubby, actually. Looks really short and stubby. I hate trying to judge antelope. 
I've shot a lot of small antelope. <laughs> hey, I'm just glad you hit the buck. And not the yeah, thanks. <laughs> <laughs> and I beat Craig. <laughs>